Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, today we've got a bit of a treat for you. Today we're going to be demonstrating this 2021 Auto Sleepers Kemerton XL. Now it's a two berth motorhome or a two berth van conversion, whichever name you'd like to call it. Uh, it's got a 2.3 litre turbo diesel engine with a Fiat Ducato chassis. Um, it's got a nine speed fully automatic gearbox. Now this one's a little bit special and I'll show you why when we get inside. But we'll start off on the outside having a good look around and then we'll go inside, go through all the specifications and we'll go from there. So starting off on the front, really sleek looking van, as I mentioned, on a Fiat Ducato or built with a Fiat Ducato. It's got alloy wheels and it's got a huge sliding door which gains entrance to the habitation. Just above the sliding door you can see it comes with a big Thule canopy and there's a very nice LED strip light actually to keep that area illuminated. So that will wind out and obviously you can sit out there with your table and chairs, that sort of thing. Now at the back here, We've got an external barbecue point, so you can plug in a gas barbecue into there. On the back, on this particular one, it's got a reversing camera and reversing sensors, which have actually been added aftermarket. So it's got aftermarket reversing sensors on it. On this side of the vehicle, let's just have a look. So this is where you plug in the vehicle. So if you're on a campsite or at home, you can plug in there. And there's two ways of filling this. So you can either fill it with a well pump, not in this one, uh, in this one, which is a well pump, so you can suck water into the vehicle, or you can fill it up with a hose here, so fresh water hose. Uh, this one, just to let you know, is a 12 volt point, and you can connect to an external aerial with that, but this one actually has got an aerial on the roof, uh, so a digital television aerial. It's got refillable gas, so this has got a 25 litre underslung gas tank, and that's where you fill it up, so you just pull into the petrol station, and fill it up that way nice and easy and you've got a little digital display in here which shows you how much gas you've got on board all the time on the roof of this one it has got a digital tv aerial a wi-fi aerial and it's actually got habitation air conditioning so that's a really nice bonus just to show you the back of this vehicle so let's just walk around let's have a look so open up these back doors here and inside first of all we've got a fold away table so you can use that either inside the van for having your dinner or playing cards things like that or you can use that outside really nice sized toilet at the back here that's an electric flush toilet and then just underneath here we've got lots of storage space so you could keep all your toilet liquids and things like that in there just above, little LED lights, and just hopping up so you can have a look. Cupboard space in there as well. Towel rail holder here, and then just below that, a toilet um, tissue holder. And then this is the shower. So you've got two draining points. So obviously if the vehicle's not completely even, then your water's gonna go down either one of those. Just moving up, this is a little drop down sink. And of course that runs hot and cold water. And then just above that, there we go, look at that, with these LED spotlights, almost like you're in a, a movie set or something. <laughs> um, it has got an extractor fan in here, and also these lights in here are all touch sensitive. So when you've got that off, actually, look how cool it looks in there. <laughs> but let's go and have a look around the other side. I opened up the habitation door just to show you. Now you can kind of imagine yourself sat in here or in this back sofa here, just chilling out, looking outside, on a mountainside or on a campsite, so that's brilliant. Uh, just underneath here, you've got an electric step, and then just here, actually, this is where you control your electric step, so one press for, it, press for it to go in, and another press for it to come out, and also you've got some light switches and a three pin plug in case you wanted to plug something in outside. The layout inside, look at this. Um, so modern, really nice with this uh, green color, actually. Um, looks spectacular. Just to give you the dimensions of the vehicle, so the overall length of this vehicle is 6363, so just under 6.4 metres, and the width is 2260. So in old terms, that's 7 foot 5 in width. Let's have a look at the cab. This particular one has got an upgraded stereo system. So that stereo system has got Apple CarPlay and things like that. You've got cruise control, cab air conditioning, 
Both of these seats do swivel around, so that makes really good use of that space. And you've got concertina cab lines that go all the way around the front for privacy. All your controls are on the steering wheel, so you can control the stereo, uh, answer telephone calls, all that sort of thing. And this is the massive plus on this van. It's got the new nine speed fully automatic gearbox. So that's brilliant. Cup holders underneath and you've got USB points there as well. And then let's have a look round. So this sofa here, you could really relax on there and chill out. It's lovely. Just above that, you've got a TV stand. So basically a TV bracket for a flat screen TV to go on. And then up there, You've also got a 12 volt point to plug it in and you've also got USB points as well. Lots of storage space up top, so cupboards all over the place in this. And let me just see if I can, oh, there we go. That's actually a max view. Uh, so that's a booster for your TV aerial. So you've got a digital TV aerial on the roof and that's a booster, so you boost your signal. Just beneath, so let's have a look. Lift this up, so under here, We've got plenty of storage, so you can keep all your bits and bobs under there. And then just over on the right hand side, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's the heating system. And also you've got the leisure battery under there as well. Now, this vehicle does sleep two people, but it will travel three. So on the right hand side here, this is a forward facing seat and that has got a three point harness. So you've got an extra seat belt for taking guests. The way this layout works is that seat sort of slides down so you can have it either as two single beds, one either side, or you can pull this across. Let me see if I can show you. Pull that across like that and it actually comes out a bit further like that. And then these cushions go down and obviously you can make this into a really nice size double bed, which I'll give you the dimensions of very soon. Moving back down the vehicle, this is your kitchen area. So you've got quite a lot of work surface in here. In here, we've got three three pin plugs. So that's really handy for your kettles and things like that. And then just above all of this, we've got more storage space. And then to the right hand side, we've got a plateless microwave. So no plate in there. So that's not going to be rattling around. Just underneath, we've got an extractor fan. So that's a carbon extractor. Below that, three gas burners and a really nice size oven look at the size of the oven for a van conversion that's great isn't it swinging around just in here we've got a big cupboard at the moment we've got all the carpets wrapped up in here so i do apologize uh, but that has got a hanging rail in there so you can hang all of your clothes and then move around to the right of that another little cupboard and then another cupboard here and you've actually got the wi-fi uh, aerial point in there as well so you can have your laptop and everything else all plugged in here no probs at all fridge freezer just down below and then to the left hand side you can see we've got three drawers just below the cupboard so you can keep all of your uh, pants and t-shirts and things and then in here let's have a look more storage space again now if you're worried about surface for preparing food then you've got all of this as well so all of this surface here, and again, another three pin plug there. And then you've got all the surface on the left hand side. So overall, really nice size kitchen on this and actually a really nice size bed. Just up top, now this is a little bit special. Now these don't come with this fan as standard, but this one has got a Truma Aventa habitation air conditioning. So if you're gonna be going abroad, or in fact, if we have a nice summer like we did last year, then that's really gonna keep this vehicle nice and cool. But um. What a lovely camper van. Right, so I've just made up the double bed in the back just so you can have a good look at that. Now, the dimensions of this bed, wait for it, the dimensions are just under two meters by 1.9 meters. So six foot six by six foot two. That is huge, isn't it? Really comfortable as well. And if you want that as single beds, it's around two meters by around 70 centimeters. So six foot nine by two foot four. Now that is fantastic. Right then guys, so what a great van conversion this is. Auto sleeper, so it's known for its quality. This one is very well specced, gorgeous color interior, and it's only around 6.4 meters. So you can zip around those country lanes in this, no problem at all. 
Uh, remember, if you like this vehicle, then do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to see more demonstrations like this, then do subscribe to the channel and you'll get notifications as and when I do new demos. And I've done a lot, so check out the channel and see all those demos on there. Just to give you a rundown, so you have got a, well, it's around 70 litres fresh water tank on this, around a 40 litre wastewater tank, reversing camera, habitation aircon, upgraded stereo, external barbecue point, external plug point. The list goes on and on and on with this one. Um, thank you for watching the demonstration, guys. And I look forward to seeing you soon.